On this edition of the HDTV announcements, stay tuned for talk about tennis, nurses, Kings Island, and more. The news starts now. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome, bo welcome back, hot dogs. I'm Liz. And I'm Richard. And for lunch today, in lines one and two, we have top and go Doritos with taco meat or chicken feet at a taco. Line three and four, we'll have soup and salad bar, chili or California blend. And line five, we'll have Big Daddy pizza. Happy birthday goes out to Hannah Anderson, Azanith Gijosa, and Daniel Montez. And now let's get into sports. In some tennis action, the Lady Hot Dogs hosted the Crawfordsville this Tuesday in Sagmore Conference play and won 4-1 to one to secure their first conference championship in 15 years and took their season record to 14-3. to three. Here are the results. Varsity singles action. Emily Morales, or sorry, Emily Michael lost 0-6 and 5-7. Riley Isgrig won 6-0 and 6-2. Uh, Maddie Tony won 7-5 and 6-3. And in doubles action, Abby Pierce and Rilo Seibert won 6-0, 6-0. Jalen Kidwell, Rebecca Perez won 6-0 and 6-1. As for reserve varsity in singles, Ashlyn Harshberger lost 5-8, Mary Lou Perez won 8-3, Carly Santos lost 0-8. For doubles, Raylan Mitchell and Ella Regal lost 2-8, Cyan Cyan Lashbrook and Maria Gijosa lost 0 to 8. In closing, it was a good day at the office for the Lady Hot Dogs. It was senior night as the team paid tribute to all eight seniors on the year squad and the varsity wrapped up their first conference title in 15 years. Congratulations to the entire team who now stand at 14 to 3. The team's next match is on Thursday at Lafayette Central Catholic. Practice for this summer's marching band will be held the day from 4 to 5.15. Anyone is welcome to join the band. A reminder, all library books are due this Friday, May 10th. Please return books to the library to avoid a fine. Talk to Ms. Willoughby if you have any questions. The Kings Island trip is this Saturday. Students will meet in the back parking lot by door 18 at 6.30 a.m. and depart FHS at 7 a.m. Don't be late. Please remember to bring food money for the day and make sure you stay hydrated since they plan to stay until the park closes at 10 p.m. AP exams continue today and run through May 16. All AP exams will take place at FHS in rooms 303 and 305. Students taking morning exams should report to their exam room at 7.30 a.m. Afternoon exams should report to test rooms at 11.30. All AP students should have signed up for Remind. Please see your AP teacher, Mrs. Hickson, if you have any questions. And lastly, today is Nurses Day, so we would like to recognize Ms. Harshman for all that she does for the student body. She works hard every day curing many, many headaches, cuts, scrapes, and does a wonderful job taking care of us. Thanks for watching and bearing with us with our three-man, one-woman crew. Make sure to like and subscribe and come back tomorrow for more news and updates.